Once upon a time in the sunny land of San Diego, a young woman named Charlene Elizabeth Brinkman dreamed of a life beneath the waves, swimming alongside dolphins and discovering new species of plankton. But instead of becoming a marine biologist, she made waves of a different kind, splashing fake blood and unleashing ear-piercing screams in more B-movies than you can shake a severed limb at. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Brink Stevens, the scream queen with a PhD in surviving slasher flicks. Brink's journey from oceanography to screamography is the stuff of Hollywood legend. With a brain as sharp as a machete-wielding maniac, she earned a BS in biology and psychology, which makes her the smartest person in any room full of slasher victims. But fate, or maybe a cursed VHS tape, had other plans. When she couldn't land a job studying seals, she did the next best thing, getting killed by mass psychos on screen. After all, what's the difference between dodging a great white shark and outrunning a guy in a hockey mask? Brink's first brush with fame wasn't through a bloody massacre, though that would come soon enough, but through her marriage to comic illustrator Dave Stevens. She became the inspiration for his iconic comic book character Betty in The Rocketeer, who knew that the woman who once modeled for comic strips would go on to be immortalized in low-budget horror classics like The Slumber Party Massacre and Sorority Babes in the Slimeball Bolorama. Forget marine biology, Hollywood clearly recognized Brink's true calling, dying in increasingly creative ways. Brink, along with her Scream Queen sisters Linnea Quigley and Michelle Bauer, formed a holy trinity of terror in the 80s and 90s. Together, they were like the Supremes of Scream, only with more fake blood and less Motown. With her piercing screams and ability to play both the victim and the vixen, Brink secured her place in the Horror Hall of Fame. Sure, marine biology is cool, but can you really compare dissecting fish to dodging machetes? Not content to just star in films, Brink decided to flex her brains and co-write a few as well. Enter Teenage Exorcist 1991, a comedy horror gem that showcases her versatility. Who else could write a script, star in it, and then still have enough energy left to scream her lungs out? The only thing scarier than the demons she exorcised was the possibility that she might have actually gone into marine biology. Brink Stevens didn't just survive the B-movie massacre, she thrived in it. With over 100 films to her name, she's not just an actress. She's a genre unto herself. In a world where marine biologists can only dream of such immortality, bring scream echoes through horror history. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. Whether she's being chased by chainsaw-wielding maniacs or narrating the rise of Comic-Con, Brink remains the undisputed queen of screams. So here's to Brink Stevens, the marine biologist who chose to swim with the sharks of Hollywood instead of the dolphins of SeaWorld. And honestly, we're all better off for it. Who's your daddy?